Hi guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio coming at you guys with another beginner tutorial on how to use some of the various drawing tools, at least on a raster level that is, in OpenTune. So what we're going to do is start by going over here, we're going to right click, do new level, we're going to make sure it's on Tune Raster level, there are other types of levels, there's Tune's Vector, which we'll talk about in another video, and there is Raster level. Now I'm going to use Tune's Raster level for this tutorial just to keep everything very simple, and this is the, this is the level that I recommend for you guys starting out in OpenTune's. So, <clears throat> um, what we're going to do is we, first we have the brush, which is just the normal um, paint tool. You have the hardness you can set to make your lines a little bit smoother. Uh, you have the smoothness to make your lines um, a little bit rounder. If you turn it off, you can just get you'll probably get the most accurate depiction of what you're drawing. But if you turn it on just a little bit, I like to keep it around ten. It makes everything look pretty nice. A little more than yeah. There we go. Keep it around 10 and everything will look pretty nice. You have pencil, which is just the hardness will go a little higher. And you have selective, which I'm not exactly sure what means. So, uh, yeah, you can have pressure too. You can turn it off if you want to, if, you have, if you're have if you drawing with the tablet, which I do pre definitely recommend. Um, the tablet I'm using is the UG M708. So I'll leave that link in the description. Next, you have the select tool. So let me draw a face. And we have eyes, smile. So if we want to make the eyes actually a lot, if you want to make them bigger, you can go to the select tool and you can click this and all you got to do is click and drag whatever you want to select. Now I'm on freehand mode, some of you might be on rectangular. So what you can do with rectangular is click and drag and how big you want to select and you can make the image bigger. Um, we also have polyline which allow you to select like this, so if you tap and then double tap to make um, the selection and then you can select whatever you like. So I like to use freehand the most because it's just the, the easiest for me. To, uh, and the fastest for me when I'm animating. So that's the one I like to use. And that was the select tool. Next we have the shape tool. You can basically, this one's pretty self-explanatory. Um, <clears throat> first shape right here is a line. This is where you switch your shapes. You can also switch the hardness. So a shape with a lot of hardness will look like this. And a shape, actually let me put like the line sticker so you can see it. A shape with a lot of hardness will look like this. And without it, it looks a little bit softer. If you know what I mean. There you go. A little bit rounder, a little bit softer. So that's what hard the hardness slider does. On um, I think it's a universal. So we have rectangles. I want to put the hardness just a little bit. There you go. Rectangles. We have um, circles, which are pretty nice. You have circles, and then you also have ellipses, which are very different. So ellipse will go like this. That's how you select it. Um, and you can make a circle with an ellipse, but a circle will go from the center, which is something to note when you're. Um, drawing a, a character maybe or just a background polyline is when you you can bend your curves and you can uh, make lines by clicking kinda like the setting that we saw before and you can double tap to make the line um, next you have an arc you can select two points and then bend them in the middle um, that one's good for drawing backgrounds polygon you can do one it's just a triangle I believe so that's all the shape tools you can use and next you have the paint bucket which is pretty self-explanatory I believe I showed you guys this in the other video. I'm going to go to the palette section, make um, right click new style, and go down to black. We can fill things with black. Right now we're on freehand. We can go to normal, fill it. Um, rectangular, you um, select the place you fill. Um, freehand, you circle it like this. Very, very helpful. And polyline, you can set a perimeter like that. There you go. So that's pretty easy. Let's go back to the basics. That's my, the tap. So I made some of these rooms. I made sketch one in a room. Oh, those are the ones I made, and we can go over that in another tutorial. Um, next, you have the eraser, and that's pretty self-explanatory also. The eraser will only erase lines. If you want it to erase both lines and areas, you can go over here. Areas are what are created by the paint tool, which is just like the fill bucket, but it's just, you know, kind of like drawing instead of um, uh, lines. So what... Opening distinct, um, distinguishes between lines and areas. So paint tool, paint tool draws areas because it's used for coloring, and the brush draws lines because it's used for making outlines and line art. So that's pretty much it for the drawing tools in OpenTunes, at least for the raster part. That is, and oh, well, you also have your color picker too, if you want, if you need that. Um, this one with the, yeah, there you go. Um, color picker is always nice, and you have your ruler, I believe. And there. That's it for the drawing tools and OpenTunes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in more beginners videos and learning about OpenTunes, please click the card and leave a like if you liked the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.